Guys, today is January 16, and of course, tip number 16. Today's tip is just to put a lot of people's minds at rest out there who are currently on weight loss journeys and are getting really stressed out about why they're not losing seven pounds a week like Sally. Um, now, the maximum amount of weight you can lose, depending upon your body fat, like if you are on the, the heavy side of being obese, then you could perhaps lose a few pounds of body fat per week. Uh, now that would show on the scales there's more than just three pounds because you will lose some water and glycogen salts all that kind of stuff as well um but just to let you know that there are 3500 calories in one pound of fat just to remind you if anything um and that is a 500 calorie deficit per day times by seven days in a week is three and a half thousand calories of fat if you wanted to double that and lose two pounds of fat that's seven thousand that is a thousand calorie deficit a day and for many they will struggle to adhere to that long term without running into binges um, without losing the mind um and without uh yeah you're not gonna have energy to uh, function at work with family train, all the stuff that comes in life, you're just not gonna be able to sustain that. So for many, that is probably the upper end of what you can sustain in a week, maybe for a certain amount of time, but the idea behind fat loss or weight loss is to be able to sustain it. So it doesn't matter how much we lose each week, what matters is for how long we can stick to it and lose that fat and, and, and weight. Um, now for most, a moderate deficit that most people can maintain uh, is a 500 calorie daily deficit, which is three and a half thousand calories a week. So I definitely would not go to the 10,500 option, which would be three pounds a week um, and a 1,500 deficit per day. So if your uh, maintenance was 2,500, that would take you all the way down to 1,000. And that's probably for most men. For a female, if your maintenance is two, you'd be at 500 calories. Um, so obviously you're gonna waste muscle tissue away really fast as well. It's just not, you just can't do it long-term. So I'm here to say January is just one month. The year is long. Don't stress yourself out about, you know, if you're seeing online other people are losing a lot more weight, they might not sustain that for another couple of months. They might do, they might literally lose the will to live. I've seen this happen. The damaging effects of rushed diets on the hormone and metabolism, namely, um, obviously estrogen for females, testosterone for men, but the, um, the chaos that creates with leptin and ghrelin, your hormones, leptin uh, tells you you're full, ghrelin tells you you're hungry, these hormones end up all over the place. So don't keep doing it to yourselves. Give yourself a calorie deficit that you can adhere to um, and still enjoy time with your family, still feel good whilst you're training, ha have a good mood, sleep well, have good libido, all this kind of stuff that comes into it. You know, you will lose productivity. So stop thinking that you can lose three plus pounds per week and instead be happy with the one to two pounds per week that you lose. Um, if you do choose to lose a pound a week, bravo to you because you will consist with that. Um, that is the best way forward. But with that one pound, will come a couple of pounds of, of water. For every 2.7 grams of uh, carbohydrate, for, for every pound we lose, we lose 2.7 grams of carbohydrate storage too. Uh, so uh, and water with that so there's the scale loss is always going to be faster but it isn't actually what you think it is so anyway a bit of a long ramble here but i know how much this blags people's heads so i just wanted to say um don't let it keep uh, taking your, your life energy uh, find a sustainable calorie deficit maintain it and enjoy yourself don't let fitness stress you out yeah and you'll feel great long term happy sunday guys i hope you've had a great day with your families and a glass of wine like we have